When we talk about future technologies, I always have to emphasize the technologies are here. The question is how we apply them and in what kind of speed we can apply them. How much can we scale with them? Industry is a big contributor to the CO2 emissions worldwide. It's about 30%. And to really tackle this, there are two ways. And I would say the heavy industry has started well already more than 10 years ago to tackle it by decarbonizing some of the processes, electrifying them. And on the other side, we have the energy efficiency. And that's mainly then related to the light industry manufacturing. And here, I think we are just at the starting point in many areas. The light industry has now been woken up by the energy crisis. To really make energy savings, you need to know where to start from. And I think that's the area where there is still acceleration needed. If the company wants to drive this, the CEO has to show the leadership to implement them. Then you need to start to get transparency. And this means you need to have the team working together. You really need to empower our employees to bring up the ideas and that the different departments like the IT department is heavily working together with the manufacturing department to make it work. We launched a smart factory program where in principle all the employees from the shop floor brought up the ideas how we can save energy, how we can become more productive, how we get a higher quality. And step by step, we implemented this program in around 100 sites overall. And the Lexington and the Levertreu are the ones which are now really on the top, and this is why they also became lighthouses. The products which are developed, they have a certain complexity. They also have some energy intensive processes. And with this program, we are able to save 25% of the energy and we have faster throughput times and we can intervene much faster if something in the process is not going well. The future journey of Schneider Electric in sustainability is really achieving internally our pledges that we have set. And this means we have to concentrate a lot also on our scope three upstream, which is our suppliers. We have launched for that a program for our 1000 top suppliers, which are causing 70% of our scope three emissions and they need to reduce until 2025 about 50% of their carbon emissions. And then on top of that, of course, we have to work with our customers. So we enable them to decarbonize, we enable them to save energy and to optimize the processes with the existing technologies that we have today. Be it automation, be it energy distribution and be it the software on top of it. So of course, software plays a crucial role here, specifically also software on the cloud and the, the data that we are storing. So it will be very much how fast can we implement certain software solutions, how much can we implement data collection and really making meaningful decisions. And in the end, it goes straight into the bottom line of the customers. And that's why it's attractive to implement.